Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with yet another Cursed City Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we're painting the Big Bad, the most gruesome, horrifying creature to stalk the streets of Ulfenkarn. It is the Vargskir. I had to look at my notes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew I, I knew I was going to forget it. Yes, we're painting the Vargskir today. It's a really cool model. It looks really intimidating. It's not that intimidating to paint, so we're going to get on with painting it. He's been primed with Wraithbone, and the first colour we're going to use is Pallid Witch Flesh. However, you might have noticed we're using a dry brush, and that's because we're going to be dry brushing all of his skin with Pallid Witch Flesh. Now, this might not look like it's doing very much, but it's just adding a little bit of an extra accent colour over the top of our Wraithbone to all of the areas that we want to have a little bit more kind of oomph than what they're gonna currently get if we just jump straight in with with the contrast. Now we're just, because it's quite early on, this is quite a heavy dry brush. It doesn't need to be perfectly light and gentle. We just wanna build this up all over the skin. Like that. You can see it's already made a little bit of a difference on those limbs. We're just going to keep going like this. You don't need to worry about doing the fur and all that. We're just focusing on the skin for now. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to make a roughly four parts contrast medium to one part Gilliman flesh mix. I'm going to use this all over, for lack of a better word, his fins. So you've got his flesh, which is like his legs and his arms, but here you've got this kind of connecting fleshy tissue. This is what we're going to use this Gilliman flesh for. The reason we're doing this first is so that it gives us kind of almost like a guide track for when we do the rest of the skin. It'll be annoying to try and avoid it without it. And it'll be equally annoying to try and rectify it. You just want to do this like this. And we've got a little bit more here. a little bit more just here. Of course you don't want to forget to do the underside. Similarly, actually put a little bit more on the underside under here. Follow your own advice, Mr. Wall Hipster. And we want to do the same thing on the other side. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is going to make a roughly four parts contrast medium to one part skeleton horde mix. I'm going to use this to paint in the rest of his skin. A little too much on my brush there. And so with that done, you should have a Vagskir that looks just like this. Now don't worry if it looks a little bit too yellow, we are going to brighten it up a little bit later, but before we do that, 
what we're going to do is we're going to use some Magos purple. I'm going to use this to create, or at least start to create, the fade on the claws and the feet. Because they fade from this kind of bright, pale skin down to this lovely kind of deep, rich purple. So, the colours that we're using are Magos purple and contrast medium. And the way we're going to do this is we've not made a mix. What we're going to do is we're going to grab some Magos purple, just as it is. I'm going to paint this all over my hands, going up to round about there like that. Get up a little bit more, just like that. Simple as that. Then what we do is we wash the brush. Have a tiny amount of contrast medium and just up the top here where the Magos purple meets Skeleton Horde. Just want to kind of smooth that transition out a little bit. Like that. So I want to repeat this process on the inside of each hand as well. And on the feet. And with that Magos purple added to our hands and to our feet, what we're now going to do is going to make a roughly six parts contrast medium to one part shyish purple mix. And we're going to use this over the top, but not over the entire of the hands and feet. But we also want to keep that contrast medium on standby because we want to use that to do exactly the same thing as we just did with the Magos purple, which is to smooth it out a little bit. So to demonstrate, I'm just going to grab some of this really thin shyish purple on our brush, and just over the top of, let's say this hand, Start as we mean to go on. We just want to add it coming along. To round about. There like that. Same on the inside. Just like that. Then as I said, what we do is we wash the brush, grab some contrast medium, and just where the colours meet, just going to use this to smooth it out a little bit. Into that Magos purple. Like that. I can actually take some off here. Just like that. And with that done, yeah, we should have a vase skewer that looks somewhat like this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that exact same mix again, of contrast medium and shayish purple. We just wanna concentrate this towards the fingers. And the toes, I should say. And so with that done, we're going to move on now because we've got this lovely kind of purpley fade on the feet and the hands. And it just looks gorgeous. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint in all of the fur. Now the three colors we're going to be using 
is Skeleton Horde, Wildwood, and Black Templar. I'm going to be using them all at the same time. We're not making a mix here, but we are going to be kind of doing a few different things with it. So, the first colour that we're going to use is Wildwood. I'm just going to demonstrate this part on the face. We've got this fur right here. All we want to do is we just want to slap this Wildwood all over all of our fur. Just like that. Once again, just round the back. Just like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other cheek. But what we also do is we wash the brush and we've got a tiny amount of black templar. A little bit more than that. Just around the tips. We want to add some of that black templar. Like that. Now, the other thing we're going to do is on the back fur. And the first colour we're going to use for that is Skeleton Horde. All we want to do is just want to start whacking this all over our fur. Take it up to there, so the tail, because the tail is slightly different. And it's, I'm being quite heavy with it. That's okay. That's what we want to do. Making sure that we get this and horn all over it. This foot actually comes down onto the head. So we get that skeleton horn all over. There's a little bit more that we've just forgotten. No, no, that's an ear. We have just missed that little bit there. Then what we do is we wash the brush and whilst it's still wet we grab some wildwood and just kind of around about that sort of mark there just start colouring it up to the top like so wash the brush grab a little bit more the top bit and down onto the head just like that again missed a small bit just that bit there Okay, should look, should look something like that. And then what we do again, we wash the brush and grab that black templar. And towards the top. Just add it in whilst it's still wet. Like that. And effectively, that is the method that you will follow for the rest of the fur to your, well, whatever your specification is. For the tail, you effectively want to do that exact kind of thing. So we want to get the skeleton horde all over it. Like that. Wash the brush, grab some wildwood, and then on either side of the tail. So, for example, just here. Just mop a little bit of that up. And then around here. Wash the brush. Grab a small amount of black templar, 
just similarly to the tips. On the other side like that. So you get this kind of brighter thing going down the middle. Like so. And so with that done, you should have a Vargsh gear that looks somewhat like this, which is really, really cool. So what we're going to do now is going to make a roughly three parts contrast medium to one part volupus pink mix. And we're going to use this on our remaining areas in the ears and the fins on his shoulders. I'm actually going to use a smaller brush for this. Because what we want to do is firstly, inside the ears, we want to add this volupus pink mix. Just like that. And then inside the fins, we want to do a very similar thing. However, when we start getting close to our skin, what we want to do is just take a little bit of contrast medium just soften out that transition. Like that. And with that done, what we then want to do is take a small amount of Blood Angels Red. And in those veins, we just want to add this the kind of middle and top. Inside each of the recesses like that. And so with that Blood Angels Red applied, what I've gone ahead and done is I've used some Wraith Bone just to neaten up all of the claws because we're now going to paint those in. And the colour that we're going to be using first for these is a Keelian Green. Just like this. Now don't worry, these are going to be black using the Achillean green first to set the tone of what they're going to look like. Just like that. Also don't forget. We've got some up here on each of the sp spines. And with that done, what we now want to do is use some Black Templar. I'm going to use it on over all of our claws. A little too much. As well as all over the teeth. As you can see, I've also done with the Achillean Green. also want to do is just use a slightly smaller brush here. We want to grab that Black Templar. We want to use it on the bottom eyelid of his face. I 
a bit there just like that. What we can do, we can also just colour in the eye as well, just to give us a little bit of natural shading on it when we come to eventually do the eyeball itself. So you just want to go around like this across all of these details and then we'll come back. And so with that done, we've got all of our base coats applied. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start taking him up to the next level. Now the color we're going to be using first is Pallid Witch Flesh. And we're going to be using this on his skin. Now, it's a mixture of relayering and highlighting. So on any, any wide open areas, you basically want to relayer the skin with the pallid witch flash. Whereas on areas like the face like that, we want to basically just highlight and pick out all the sharpest areas. So for example, down here on the legs, what we want to do, actually here on the chest, we've got the rolls in his tummy. So we just want to start relayering. Just avoiding anywhere where that skeleton horn is really settled. And on the legs, for example, we've got these kind of little areas like this. We just want to pick out Basically, just use your best judgment. <laughs> it's entirely up to you how much of this you want to do. For example, this entire muscle here, we can relayer. Like that. And with that done, what we're now going to do is going to take a small amount of cacophony purple. I'm going to use this to highlight our purple areas. Just like that. And with that done, what we then do is we take some Fenrisian Grey and we use this to highlight all of our black areas. Such as the claws and the teeth. Just like that. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to give all the fur a very gentle dry brush of Screaming Skull. With that done, what we then want to do is we want to dry brush our fleshy area with some flayed one flesh. Just be very gentle here. With that done, what we now want to do is we want to take a tiny amount of wildwood. We want to use this to basically reinforce the recesses in his face. Just use a really small amount each time so as not to get it really dark.
And with that done, what we then do is take a tiny amount of Corax white and we use this as a little spot highlight around the face. And next up, we want to use a small dot of phalanx yellow for his eyeballs. Just like that. And lastly, just to finish him off, we then want to take a small tiny dot of black templar. We want to add this as his pupil in his eyes. And there you have it, the Vargs get all complete, ready to stalk the streets of Ulfenkarn and give the adventurers a really bad, bad day. <laughs> he's a beast, um, quite literally, but he's just, it, it, it blows my mind that such things can be push fit and that they're so highly detailed, it's ridiculous. And he's he's just a wonderful model to paint. He's so much fun, so messy, and actually surprisingly quick and easy for how detailed he is. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, like these legends and bosses that you can see on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.